Barracuda. We meet again after all these years. I took a look at a Barracuda device, I think eight years ago at this point, and boy did it suck. <laughs> they took the cheapest consumer hardware that was old even for the time and threw it into a case and charged who knows how much money, thousands and thousands of dollars for their proprietary whatever. This is the Backup 190. It has a much snazzier case on the surface and has relatively modern stuff on the back you know i looked at it and i'm like okay got some ps2 ports vga usb3 that's a good indicator hdmi another good indicator usb2 gigabit ethernet and a uh, serial port it also has a dc input jack more on that in a minute it's in a nice small case that i don't think is actually one u so i don't think you could actually throw it into a rack uh, not that it came with ears or anything so i'm guessing it's not really meant to go into a rack but it has this chonky extruded aluminum top on it so i was thinking hey it's pretty good they may have gotten better over the years and it turns out one the recycling company i bought this from really doesn't give a damn about what they're doing i took out some screws but man all these screws are just stripped to hell <laughs> not the not the uh screw i should say but the actual sheet of metal that they screw into they're all just stripped so they, they probably tried to take off the back and then just gave up and then finally took the top off and it is weird really weird inside here before you even get in there there's this screw that's covered by a plastic plug and it's just sitting in the extruded aluminum top and i have no idea why maybe it screwed on to a heat sink because there's no heat sink installed on this but it doesn't look like there was but there was thermal compound on it it's so weird these are some emc gaskets on this to keep the noise inside barracuda is one of those companies that don't tell you anything about the specs when you buy anything from them they just tell you that it handles 200 megabits a second or some other nonsense they don't tell you what kind of cpu it's got or anything like that so when you buy it it's a mystery box and you you're supposed to use it as a mystery box you're not supposed to ever open it up and do anything with it this mystery box supposedly came with a one terabyte ssd although i've also seen conflicting reports that it came with a one terabyte hard drive recycling company took it out and the motherboard is a standard itx board cutouts just for this motherboard that's it doesn't use a standard thing and it's funny because this is taller you'd think there'd be enough room for an io shield but no they gotta go full proprietary anyway this motherboard is an msi motherboard of all companies i don't think i've ever seen an msi motherboard in any kind of networking or server hardware ever right away you can see that there's no like standard flex atx power supply in here because we got this dc jack going into a pico power supply it's so cute pico psus are very compact power supplies and they just run off a standard dc input and the advantage of it is that you don't need to take up all that space for a regular power supply the disadvantage is that it's very low power I mean, they're, they're like 70 watts total, I think. Some of them, I think, may go up to like 100 watts, but even then you're kind of pushing it. I do have one somewhere. This particular model doesn't even say how much wattage it can handle, but not much when it's wire gauged this thin, going to the CPU, and it's only two wires instead of four. So you know it's not a high wattage power supply, but you don't need it for a system like this. So, you know, it's perfectly fine. It's just don't expect to put anything else in here. Jammed into the front are a whole bunch of cables. They've got stuff for the front LEDs and power switch. And there's a circuit board behind this. They must have like a power, no wait, there's a power LED over here. What is this board going to? It says LED, logo LED PCB, of course. They're lighting up their logo. They light up the logo, but they also have a power LED because you can't figure out that the power's on with the, oh God, Barracuda, man. Anyway, this, while I'm here, the front of this is so cheap. It's just, it feels like it's like, like craft mesh that's been like glued onto the, like the whole thing moves. You can see the mesh just moving. It's just, garbage it looks nice from the distance it actually looked like i'm like wow barracuda they fixed up their their hardware and made it look a lot nicer and then you actually touch it and the whole thing just flexes it is just oh it feels so cheap when i got this board i figured there was some kind of mounting bracket underneath this because there's 
screws put in and they're not like heatsink screws there's a nut on them i think this board was designed not to have a heatsink now i found pictures of this board it's specifically the N3150i Eco S01. Now I found boards and they have a heat sink on them and they're, they're on MSI's site. They also have audio. I'm thinking this is some variant that they've made for embedded systems that, I mean, it's got like the little rubber spacers for a heat sink, but they don't install a heat sink. I was thinking originally it maybe was connected to the bottom of the case, which makes no sense because they have an aluminum block on the top, so, which means that this thing, assuming the, the recycler didn't like rip off a heat sink and then put these screws back on, which makes no sense. I think this ships with nothing. I would have to get another one of these. If I see another one of these really cheap, maybe I'll buy it just out of curiosity of how they're making this thing run. I mean, it's only a six watt CPU, but still. What makes it really weird is there was some of the, um, it's not like regular thermal paste. It's like the thick, like thermal goop that they put on a lot of embedded chips like this. There was like a little blob of it, like a little bit, almost like they didn't put the heat sink on. Ever. Maybe the machine put it on, put this on, and then they like haul these off midway through the manufacturing process and then just don't put the heat sink on. It's weird. This could be a custom or semi custom board that MSI makes for embedded systems because it is missing audio. Maybe they down clock it or something. It's very strange. Rest of the case is pretty boring. Like I said, you can't put in a different motherboard, and this case is just like all the screws are ruined on it. So yeah, pretty garbage. This is the PCB for the power switch and LED and stuff like that. They didn't bother to clean the flux off. Look how much work they did making this logo light up. They have a little LED driver and a whole bunch of LEDs to light this bad boy up. And for what? They went as far as to get a custom power Molex cable to give this thing power so we can just get five volts running right into that. Yeah. Well, I had to see what all the hype was about, and yeah, it's some white LEDs and some blue LEDs. Well, I plugged this thing into power and covered it in cat fur, and it almost finished booting into Linux, and then it died. I put this little Raspberry Pi heatsink on it. The chip never really got that hot, so... There, I guess there is a possibility that it is designed to run without the heatsink. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me at all if Barracuda was actually removing the heatsinks on these or ordering them without them just to save a dollar. Either way, after I got this thing sort of running, I reset the BIOS and yeah, now it just hangs on the BIOS. It never actually boots. So I'm thinking there's something horribly wrong with it. Maybe out of morbid curiosity, if I ever see another one of these, I will buy one just to see if it's just the recycling company that took the heat sink off. But I have a strange feeling that it's freaking Barracuda doing it. I mean, there was compound on it, so it's weird. I guess nothing's changed in all these years.